Well, here we are today at Docklow, and I've spent many, many hours here over the years fishing for all sorts of species. And I was one of the first to fish this lake uh, in the early 90s when it was dug. And since it was dug, it has become one of the most beautiful lakes that I can fish. It really has. It's full of carp. A uh, lot of double-figured carp and there are some fish over 20 and up to even 30 pounds. But I think the, 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 the uh, jewel in the crown has to be the catfish. I think it's probably the best catfish water for numbers of cats in the country. And if you come here and stay here as a resident, you can fish this exclusive water for a lot of cats. A lot of cats into double figures, 20s, 30s, and even up to the magical 50 and 60 pound mark. It really is a very special place. Docklow was designed by an angler for anglers and in, when I say that you know if you look at the platforms that you can fish they're very very comfortable you park near to the lake you know very some of the swims are right you know within a hundred yards of the car uh, you can't drive all the way around but the access is absolutely superb whether you whether you're 16 year old or whether you're 70 or 80 you're going to be able to fish this 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 lake and don't worry about bait, don't worry about tattle. If, some, if you forgot something and you live a long way away, you don't have to go anywhere. You don't, when you park your car on this site, you don't have to go anywhere. You know, you can, you can eat here, you can buy your tattle here, and you can buy your bait here. Everything's here, whether you want to fish for carp or the catfish on here, it's all in the tattle shop. It really is. People are always asking me, uh, how would I catch carp and how would I catch catfish at various venues? How would I catch carp here? quite easily. If you look at the lake, there's a lot of trees overhanging, whether it be on the far side or whether it be on the near side. Don't try and cast, you know, 70 yards, just stick it under a tree, put a little bit of bait there, nice simple rig, hair rig, boily, and you're going to catch fish. As for uh, location, you've got to remember there's a lot of fish here and they will show. You can see them fizzing, you can see them rolling. If you see one, there's probably 30 fish there with it, maybe even more. You know, when you say you cast to a fish, you're probably casting to 20 fish. Have a look, you can see on this swim here, you can see down the venue, you can see the carp, you'll see the bubbles, fish there. You've got a good chance. As for the cats, the cats will hunt. Most of the time people are fishing late evening or through the night or early morning and again the cats have got an incredible sense of smell if you put a smelly piece of meat or some of the the big pellets that you can buy in the shop i think they're eel flavored or blood flavored they will find them out they've got these big feelers and if you're 20 30 40 yards away from one i guarantee you that in the middle of the night it'll find your bait